84-65, the final score inside the Bryce Jordan Center on senior night as we visit with senior forward John Hara. John, you guys had a 24-point lead before Minnesota cut it to an 11-point deficit. How did your program ultimately slam the door down the stretch? Yeah, I, th I think it was a lot to do with the love. Um, I think we huddled up with at the eight minute mark and we said, let's put this away. Let's do it together as we've done it for the past four years with the, with the same dudes. Let's go, let's go make this night special. You mentioned the past four years. What trait makes up this senior class? I mean, I'm going with attitude. Attitude's on my wrist. Attitude's hanging in my doorway and from my room door. It's all over the place. Um, I would say it's been preached more than any other word since I've joined this program. And it matters, man. Uh, things happen in your life. Things happen on the basketball court. It's not about the things that happen. It's always about how you respond to those things and what your attitude is. When you came off the court to a standing ovation, quote unquote, and you <laughs> hugged interim head coach Jim Ferry, what will you cherish about that moment? Man, it's like this, this university is about the relationships. We've won a lot of games here. We lost some, but at the end of the day, it's about the relationships with, that I have with all those dudes sitting behind me and cheering me on every day. Um, it always will be. And it's about my senior class too, man. I love them. To see Trent Buttrick, I know Trent hasn't got the media that everyone else has gotten in the past four years, but he deserved what he did tonight. He works harder than anyone in practice for, the, for all four of his years. And man, that, that's special to my heart to see him go out and do what he did. Speaking of special, your program went on a 16-2 run to close out the first half, including a Miles Dread three-point steal. How did you parlay that into the second half? Yeah, that, I, I call that a winning play. Jamari Wheeler seeing that, sneaking that out, snoping that out, winning play. Gets it to Miles Judd for the game, uh, for the close out halftime with a three. That's a winning play. If you make more winning plays than the other team, you're going to win the game no matter what. These senior members that are right behind you about to go do some uh, media as well, how have they impacted you personally? Man, they're my best friends. I, uh, I've lived with every one of them over there throughout the years. They're my best friends. I love them. Uh, I'm going to be friends with them for 40 years. Just like we said uh, before the game, we have the largest alumni. I saw Paul Clifford up there. Largest alumni in the world. Those are my four alumni that I'll talk to for the rest of my life, along with the rest of you guys. John Hare, appreciate you and appreciate your career here at Penn State University as he closes the chapter on home games inside the Bryce Jordan Center. Still a lot to play for starting this Sunday on the road.